St. Matthew chapter 10. Verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Just being thankful that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, they kept their spirit in me this morning. You know, to do this blessed lesson, Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You got to keep going over this over and over. The Lord is not bringing peace, all right? We're not living in peaceful times. We're living in deadly, serious times. Everything is going down. The, the Lord is getting down. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is getting down, man. Sleazy, he destroying the earth. But at the same time, he's telling you that everything is going to be okay. He's, he's going to make life better for you. Thousands of birds dropping out the air. But Israel think it's time to party. We got to keep going over this. Israel think it's time to party. Thousands of birds falling out the air. Beautiful birds too. Everything's dying. But but your mind state is set on having fun. Everything is dying. You see, being broken down to his very last compound. But oh yeah, let's have some fun. It's time to have fun. It ain't time to pray. It ain't time to seek the Creator. You know, we're just, we're just going to live it up. What did the Lord say? St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And what does that sword represent? Destruction. Destruction. Matter of fact, let, let's, read, let's read a little bit more. Let's read a little bit more. Let's read a little bit more down. 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. And the daughter against her mother, and the mother-in-law against her, and and the daughter against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Are you are you not hearing that? You you and your family, it look, you ain't gonna have no help soon come. The little help that you do got right about now is getting ready to go out the window. Family members getting ready to collide, getting ready to bump heads more than more than what they've been doing because they already bumping heads. Family members ain't really been getting along lately. Everybody been bumping heads. Why? Because the Lord said we're not living in peaceful times. You see, the only ones that's going to come to an agreement, you know what I'm saying, is the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Because the Lord got his spirit on them to do so. Everybody else is going to be at variance at each other. And while all these things are going on, Sleazy E is preparing to come down upon you with great wrath. Yeah, yeah, Sleazy E. Your, your, um, what is, what is, what did they say? Your, um, your, your neighborhood friendly Sleazy E. You know what I'm saying? It's about to come down upon you with great wrath. You know what I mean? You, somebody got blasted, you know what I'm saying? On, on my block, you know what I'm saying? Um, during the wee hours last night. Because they think it's all about fun. Trying to get a, this. This is what happens when you get a don't try to get a name for yourself, Israel. Just stay low. Stay off the radar. Stay humble and pray for that. Just stay off the radar, man, because the Lord is judging all these prideful people. Remember, pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. He said he's going to bring great misery. And I'm going to get that too, Lord willing, next. He said he's going to bring great misery upon the prideful people of the earth. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. We're, we're the inhabitants of the earth. People. Okay? <laughs> Tall, short, fat, skinny. Negroes, Latins, Native Americans. These heathens. For the devil has come down to deceive the slanderer, not a man up on the ground. That's why it's time to run to that um that strong tower. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, because the wrath is coming. I mean, you can't avoid it. It's gonna be more. We gotta we gotta say this every day. Because it's the Lord telling us to say it. 
You said that yesterday. You said that the day before that. You said that. Ain't it coming to pass, though? Because it's according to the Bible. Everything we say is according to the Bible. So if you don't want to hear what we got to say according to the Bible, go to another channel. Just turn the video off. This ain't for you. If you're saying that, this is not for you. For the devil has come down unto you. But you're going to wish you would have took heed. When this devil come down with great wrath, when Sleazy E comes down with great wrath. Because he knows that he have but a short time to rule. And you get caught in it. You're going to say, damn. Or, 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 or you might say, ha, ha, ha. But you're going to say something, though. Because because you Israelites are not going to always be able to ignore the words of prophecy, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because it's going to eventually bite you in your ass. You see, this devil know that he only got a short time. Matter of fact, let's go. Let's, let's jump to the sixth chapter. Revelation, the sixth chapter. You learn, you learn, you learn. Revelation chapter six, verse four. Let's blow it up. Quick little lesson, I'm about to head out. Go make my daily bread. Abaratazah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse, which represents power. And look, that was red. Represents Edom, Esau, Edom. And power was given to him. See, remember Job 9, 24. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Ain't, didn't the Lord say that earlier? I came not to send peace on the earth, but a sword. You see? He was he was given power to take peace from the earth. But, but Israel tired of hearing this word. <laughs> There's something wrong with them. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And you can read Genesis, the 27th chapter, who was given a great sword. Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, man. You see? But, it, but at the same time, I'm saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to bring peace to the earth. I, I love everybody. You see. Okay, keep, keep following for that, Israel. Sirach chapter 12. Let's see. Sirach chapter 12. Let's see. 10. Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Your enemy is telling you it's getting ready to get better. He going to, excuse me, he's going to make life better for you. But what did the Lord say? Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh say, hey, look, don't think that I'm coming to bring peace on earth. Look, Israel, it's not going to get better here. It's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse because the Lord's putting a squeeze on it. Squeeze like Andre the Giant. Squeeze. The Lord's putting a squeeze on his place. He's squeezing the life out of this place. He says he's going to take the mirth out of this place, man. And all the joy, all the laughter, all the glee, the Lord's going to take all the celebration, all the singing, all the dancing, all the twerking. You see all the mocking, all the people that's neglecting the words of the Lord, get ready to get taken out of this place. When that squeeze comes, squeeze, all hell going to break loose. You're going to see troops going down your streets, troops knocking on your door. They're going to make it mandatory that you take the, um, the M-O to the T-T-T-B-B-B. And then those deaf angels are going to be going around those spirits created for vengeance, going to be going throughout the cities. Throughout the neighborhoods, getting it in. Ah, never trust thine enemy. Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, and these heathen nations, but mainly Sleazy E. Never trust the Lord. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And I just want to jump down here a couple points. 13. You're playing, you're playing around with a serpent. 13. So Rock chapter 12, verse 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten? With a serpent. You you turn on certain YouTube videos, you see a guy, you know what I'm saying, with like a, um, a harp, you know what I'm saying, playing an instrument to the serpent, the snake coming out of that little basket or whatever, and the snake be dead in front of his face and all that, he playing with it, you know what I'm saying? But then as soon as he get bit, you know what I'm saying, who's going to feel sorry for him? That's what the Lord is saying. You play with a snake, you get bit, who's going to feel sorry for you? You knew it was a snake, man. You see? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts. You you going into the jungle messing around with a panther or a lion or something. 
a dangerous beast, a dangerous creature. And then that's saying, no, it'll maul you to death. Who's going to feel sorry for it? Bite, bite um, your whole ass off. You know what I'm saying? And you land somewhere hooping and hollering. Some people walk past. What happened? I was playing with a lion. Do, do they supposed to feel sorry for you? You was playing with a lion. Do anybody supposed to feel sorry for you? No. You see? Who will have pity? You know what I'm saying? Who will have pity on you? Jumping down, 16, an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips. The Lord give, giving you the truth, but your enemy's coming with, with um, sweet, um, smooth words like oil. An enemy, an enemy, Israel, speaking sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, meaning his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit, meaning trying to trap you up. All Your enemy is always thinking about trapping you up. These are the times, it's, it's deadly serious, Israel. You see, he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Because they love to see blood. They love blood. You see? They love to see your blood flow as a river down the streets. You see? If adversity means you start catching hell, come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to have thee, and, and, and it's like, it's like mind-boggling, but we already know the entity that's trying to help you, you run away from. The enemy, you, what, you, um, the, the entity that's trying to help you, you run away from. You run to your enemy. That's what I want to say through the spirit. You see, your power, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, is trying to help you. You you run away from that. You want to you run away from some from a person that's really trying to help you. <laughs> to someone that's really trying to destroy you. You see? And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. And, and, and this is gonna happen every time, Israel. This is gonna happen every time. Every time you trust in your enemy, he's going to undermine you every time. So just, so just get ready. Let's just, just, just get ready. Proverbs 29 and 2. I'm going to bring out two more scriptures and I got to wrap it up. This is Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. This is, this is what happens when, when the enemy, when the wicked people rule the earth. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The, the, the righteous people are not ruling the earth right about now. So just stop it, Israel. Just stop it. You see? But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. So you're going to continue to mourn. You're going to continue to weep. You're going to continue to lose your jobs. You're going to continue to look through out here. Long as the wicked is ruling, you would never rule your household. You just know that. You would never be able to put your babies in check. Just know that. Your woman ain't going to never listen to you. Just know that. Why? Because the wicked is ruling. You're never going to get ahead here. Only thing you're going to do, only thing we're going to do is eat crumbs off the master's table. You're, you're never going to get ahead here. That's why, that's why we, the scriptures say, uh, what is it, Hebrews? I think it's Hebrews 13th chapter. We have no continuing city. But we seek one to come. This ain't our rest. This is not our rest. And this is the last scripture I got. And I'm about to, I'm about, I got to go. Um, yeah, what is it? Pro yeah, still in Proverbs. Proverbs um, 3. And I'm going after this. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua with all your mind. The Lord says certain things are going to go down. Certain things are going to go down. All right? And lean not into thy own understanding. The scriptures say, never trust thine enemy, never trust thine enemy. All right? Don't believe what he say. He's lying to you. You see? The scriptures say, by peace, he shall destroy many. Coming with that love doctrine and destroying you at the same time. And he's destroying everything. He's, he's destroying the whole earth. You see? Like he's going to have pity on you. This man trying to, this man trying to blow up the moon. What makes you think he's going to have pity on us? He's trying to destroy the moon. I already didn't destroy the earth already. He's he trying to destroy some, another planet. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. You see? Scripture say, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So that's pretty much it, man. Just a quick, pretty much warning. <clears throat> you know, great misery is coming. All hell breaking loose. 
And it's the judgment of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Give him warning. That's what the Lord told us to do. Give him warning. Shalom.